presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you we weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great weekend, safe weekend. Let's make a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Replace love with fear. This is a dynamite card, folks. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground that words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for words that come with love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 530. We get the NASDAQ up 330. S&Ps are up 88. Gold, gold contract up $5.80 trading at a price point of 16.54 an ounce. We have silver up 47 cents, $18.55 an ounce. Oil flat, $85.55 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up two ticks, trading 110.21 to 30, down 12 at 123.11 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 1,188 ticks, trading at 112.12. The Euro's at 98. The Yen is pushing 150, we're at 148.93, and the British pound is out here at a price point of 113 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. But now in the world, we are going to go in the world of our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave is the head of product and managing director at Direction. And as you come over to our website, folks, at TFNN, you're going to see the banner. You hit that banner, bring you over to the Direction site. We're going to be talking about the single stock new ETFs. Dave Mazza, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Happy to be back. Yes. Well, you know what? I'd love to talk about, you know, because realistically, no one that has been long has had a chance to, to well, I'm sure folks have gone long, but my, my point is at least we have a bounce going. So what I'd love to get, um, you know, into, Dave, is Amazon, Microsoft, Google, so you can explain to the folks, you know, you have new ETF structures here that you can get one and a half to one, which is great for, you know, Day traders, there's no doubt about that because if, if the stock's moving, folks, okay, um, bottom line, you can get one and a half to one instead of one, so you're getting a little bit more leverage. So, can you talk to us first? We got Amazon moving out here, Microsoft's moving, you know, Google's not moving that much, but do you can explain to us how these work, Dave? Yeah, so happy to do so, and um, you're absolutely right. So, these are tools like any leverage and inverse ETF that's intended for tactical trading. So, really, a day trader, someone who's interested in that, these can be in their toolkit because when you have embedded leverage, you need to be able to make that buy, sell, and hold decision very frequently and really daily. And the way they work is, if we think about uh, SPXL, right? That's yes. SP 500, three times bull fund, right. right? So you take the index, right, 500 stocks, and it, that's amplified on a daily basis. In this particular case, a trader is still transacting in the ETF, but it's at an individual security level. So to your point, um, with whether it's uh, it's Amazon or Microsoft, we're going to have the, the common shares and offer one point times the bull exposure or one times the inverse exposure. So if I want to express a bullish view, I can look toward one of these uh, single stock ETFs to do that. Or if I want to hedge my exposure or if I don't own it and want to ex uh, directly express a negative view, I could use that inverse bear fund to do so. Yes. They, you know, it's, you know, it's really cool. What happens, folks, is that if you uh, into the, you know, the NDX 100, um, you know, I particularly like trading Microsoft and Amazon a lot. 
Uh, so it's really kind of cool because what happens, folks, is that when they move, they move. And in this particular case, you know, if you would bullish Amazon, you'd, you'd go into the AMZU. And you, you, first off, you can come over to our website, TFNN, hit the button. It'll bring you to the direction. You're going to see them right there. And then with Microsoft, it's the MSFU. And with Google, it's GGLL. So, you know, this is, this is a really nice setup, particularly, you know, for folks that don't, that are not in the futures market, that want to get a little bit more leverage. And there's plenty of folks that like to buy 100 shares of Amazon and Microsoft. I mean, well, Amazon's less expensive now, so you can get more than that. But you know what I'm saying? So let me ask you, are, are you looking at more of these singles? I mean, you guys were so far ahead of the curve on, you know, the leverage in the inverses is this where the market's going to go with highly uh liquid stocks yeah so really our focus to date has been taking the, the top five stocks really in the nasdaq or yes. s&p 500 in the u.s and bringing these to market as to educate traders on how to use them appropriately and really how they work and in many ways as we talked about before and said today they work exactly the same way as our other leverage inverse etfs but you do have to recognize well, there's a big difference. It's just a single security, not an index, whether it's an index of semiconductors, uh, small caps, what have you. But they're structured the same way. Now, we are always looking for new ideas. So um, uh, we have filed for some additional ones um, that we have not brought to market. Yes. Um, on, um, uh, on some additional, like uh, NVIDIA's of the world um, uh, and the like, along with some energy uh, companies. Right now, you know, we're happy with the 10. We're seeing traders, uh, probably uh, not to surprise, really embrace the Tesla pair. That's TSLL and TSLS. But I love that, you know, you mentioned t trading Amazon and Microsoft, right? Yes. Uh, those are names that particularly today, especially Amazon on the consumer side, th that's going to keep keep moving and be a real tell, I think, of what's going on in the economy. So the, we don't. it's not just about, uh, in many ways, it's become just about Tesla and Apple, um, but you know these other these other names, your Amazons, um, your Alphabets, and your Microsoft are also really interesting for, for trading in this environment. Uh, and you know what we're looking at is what's can, what's spending going to be not just at the consumer, but with corporations and both of those names, Microsoft and Amazon, massive cloud businesses, which have been really powering their earnings going forward. So heading into this really hugely important earnings season. Traders can use these products to express that view, either heading into the event or, again, uh, say I want to be positive, or if I own the stock, and we've talked about this uh, before, yes. using the inverse, uh, so AMZU or what have you, to kind of provide that hedge for me if I'm concerned that numbers aren't going to be so great. Uh, if we're just looking at the early reporters, I think the dire scenarios of where uh, corporate earnings could come in have improved, but at the end of the day, this is going to be the slowest uh, uh, earnings growth that we've seen for the S&P 500 in some time. And I think traders have a real opportunity to be nimble here, especially with the VIX remaining as elevated as it has been. Yeah. Hey, Dave, you've really put something great together. And it, realistically, you know what's so cool is that folks are used to the inverses, the doubles, the triples. So these are right up the alley. That's my take on it anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? They're, they're just really easy to great. understand and pretty cool. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking in two weeks from today, Dave. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 538. Nasdaq's up uh, 340. S&Ps are up uh, 89. Let's get over to the oil patch and take a look at this oil patch. So we take a look at the active contract out here. That's trading out flat today. It has light volume. Okay, so we'll see if we can get lower. Um, you know, you're down five cents, actually, and you only have 145,000 contracts. It failed at a swing, and it was a lower swing. I'm just trying to s up oh, right there. That's good. So we'll see how this handles this bar, because the bottom of this bar is 83 to 22. My take is that we're going down the bottom, because what we have here, I you know, you know it's amazing. To, it's actually amazing to me. That's all people keep talking about is oil. Like oil's going to go higher, and oil's been going lower now for three months. I mean, since June. June oil was 112 bucks, and you know two weeks ago it was 76. It couldn't take the swing point out of uh, 96. It only went to 93.64. You know, gold. Let's go in the gold market and take a look at gold. So we have the dollar going the right way for us. Gold bottom line, you know, came back to strength. You can see how this, you know, this is. <laughs> it's always a killer, man. That particularly when you just start in technical analysis that, you know, you had the strength off the bottom. The strength off the bottom had 280,000 contracts. That number, it started out at 1622, goes all the way to 1736. And what I was about to say is that it's a killer. Uh, when you're in just beginning technical analysis, they say, what do you mean? Why does it want to go back to strength? They just do, folks, okay? Uh, and we came back, okay? Now, we'll watch what we did. Wednesday, I mean, Thursday, you came back with 257,000 contracts. You're still going into 280. And then Friday, it basically had 183. And that's what you're looking for. So it'd be 183, you know, against that uh, 280. Now the question is, can it get going? You know, thus far, it doesn't get going. It's only up five bucks. You know, it hit uh, 1674 today, and they sold it right down, 20 bucks like in a heartbeat. Yeah, look at this. And this was when the dollar was going down. So that's, t that's telling me that you got, you know, they can push this thing around, man. That, that's saying to me that they're trying to get long more than likely. You push it down, trying to get long against the deal. Silver, let's go take a look at the silver market out here. Um, now, silver, you know, bottom line is much more highly volatile than gold. And, you know, bottom line is that the, it went higher than gold, too, because gold, it, it, silver actually took out your swing point that was uh, out here in August. Uh, same type of setup, uh, you know, came back, but it came back to the very beginning of where it had taken off from. 
You know, right now out here today, we get 48,000 contracts out here today, uh, which isn't bad. You know, we, we will go, we have to get, Silver has to get back inside 1895. That's a big number, man. That's, that's the number that has to get back inside. I understand that you still have higher lows. There's no doubt. We've had three higher lows. We have two higher highs. But it, to me, I want to see it get back. The big strength in silver was when it went 1890 to 2079. That's the day I want to see it get back inside of. Some of the higher volume equities out here today inside of this market, and we'll see what kind of volume that we do get. Tesla's on a run. That's up 13 to 62. You get Apple up 418. Bank of America is up a couple dollars. You get, uh, let's see, Continental Resources up 580. Um, let's see, that's Ham buying his own stock. Let me see what this is. Okay, so you get Continental Resources. I see. Oh, this is interesting. So Ham's the guy that started Continental. Let me look at this. He's trying to take this thing private. I see what's going on here now. Yeah, and the shareholders. Let's just look at this on a longer basis. So Continental, look at this, though. He must be really bear, bullish, man. I mean, he's trying to buy this at highs. It's at 74. Went all the way down to $6.70 and. March of 2020. So there's a guy that is absolutely bullish, you know, not only on his own stock, but on the oil business in general, man. Hold on. Well, that's a gas business, I think, isn't it? Let's see. But exploration production of onshore oil plays. No? Okay. Leasehold, the Balkan Shield, Montana, as well as. You must know what's on the pipeline, man. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, because you start buying things at the aspect of at highs, and you're the insider, let's say quite a bit, in a good way. Um, we take a look at Tesla. Tesla's having a hard time. It's up 13 bucks right now, but, you know, we got an inside day going on. You still, Tesla looks to me, it's going to try to bang out this, this bottom of 206. And we'll see where that whole thing shakes out. Uh, yeah, let's go look at the yen. This, you know, when I actually over the weekend, when I was thinking about, you know, you, you've always heard me say, okay, so when the yen gets stronger, folks, and that means it goes down, gold loves to explode topside. And if you're in the gold market, I think that we're really, like, pretty lucky that gold hasn't been really destroyed. <laughs> because when I, look, when I look at the yen, we're talking about the yen five months ago was 126. And it's 148, and it doesn't look like it's going to stop. It's like, okay. You know, I mean, it, it looks, it's just amazing, actually, you know, I mean, when you actually take a look at it. Now, what I also did, you want to see something crazy, man? I'm trying to, I was trying to figure this chart out. This would be, I got to talk to Tommy. This would be a great question for um, um, a man. One second. There we go. Monthly. Teddy Kegstap. Because when I put this up, where do you see this chart, man? I'll put it on. That's on a yearly. This is a yearly of the yen for 50 years. Well, look at this thing, man. I mean, it's trying to overtake the, it just overtook uh, 1998, which was 147.66. So if you really overtake this well, I mean, the next move is 177. The next move after that is 262. The thing that's a mind blower, I really never knew um, that, <laughs> that the yen at one point was 306 to one U.S. dollar. You know, you, you, you talk about the aspect of weak yen versus the U.S. dollar. I mean, 306. So, you know, he's going to know more about how that tr trades are, what that's all about, you know. But that's pretty intense, though. There's no doubt about it. Let's go take a look at uh, CCJ, Kamiko. So, Kamiko went after Westinghouse, folks, and the stock gets smoked, down five bucks. Um, this stock here now, it was gonna have to do is build, build cars to get to higher price. When you come down this fast, uh, bottom line, that's how it shakes out. You know, you, you come down, we, last swing point up there was $31. It gapped down when they announced that they're gonna go after Westinghouse. And, you know, we pulled this back a bit. 
and you can see this consolidation still on. You know, I suspect this this low is going to probably get tested again. 2160, 2102. You know, it's interesting about the play that Kamiko is actually doing. Years ago, folks, um, what had happened, like U.S. Steel, right down where we are, and uh, it wasn't actually in St. Petersburg. It was in San Key, okay, which is only about 30 minutes away from here. U.S. Steel bought all this land on the water, right? And they built all these high rises. And the reason they did it is to keep business going. That's why Kamiko is going after Westinghouse. Sometimes it's not a good idea. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up by 579. NASDAQ's up 355. S&P's up 94. So the, the, the punchline of the story, folks, is that um, when U.S. Steel did this, okay? They bought them on. They were doing, they were the buying the real estate so they could build the buildings and use this steel. When I first looked at this, I said, this is amazing that, you know, that's how they were generating business. But the bottom line, it probably got them through a cash flow, or whatever it is, and the bottom line, that's what they did. And Westinghouse's case, Westinghouse is, is bottom line, one of the largest uh, nuclear power companies in the world. And so my take is that, you know, you get the uranium. Here's the power company, bottom line, you know that the orders are going to keep going. So that's more cohesive. There's no doubt about that. Now, as to the price, what you have with the price is that if you, if you missed it, a couple of targets might have. I'm not sure when they're asking me about this. Um, but the bottom line, this was a secondary that they had to push out. Well, they didn't have to, but the bottom line, they wanted to push it out, um, you know, to get more bread in. And they pushed it out. They pushed it out at 21, about 2159, you know, so that pushed out. That puts about another 700 and something million in the coffer. But, you know, I suspect they're, you know, you start 
uh, Westinghouse is going to own four, no, Cameco is going to own 49% of it, and Brookfield Partners, which is another um, you know huge company up in Canada, uh, is going to own 51% of it. Let's go take a look at the um, good old Amazon because what's going to happen? I mean, it, it, Amazon's been so intriguing this year <coughs> because it number one hasn't got the juice, you know, even on the way up and on the way down, it wasn't that bad actually. Um, and you know, bottom line is that what's happening now? Okay, you're coming into the holiday season, you know, so. We'll see whether Amazon can, you know, basically get some juice going to the top sides. You know, the, the counter trend bounce that it had, we did go from 103 up to 146, pretty amazing. And then you came right back and tested. So we'll see if that's getting any juice, because Amazon's going to have a really tough time getting through 135 in general. We go over to uh, Microsoft. We take a look at Microsoft. That's up about eight and a half bucks out here today. That's, let's see what this went into. Monthly. Okay, so. $576 million. Yeah, we're still, we're still not done. On the way down. This is going to be a good bounce. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I want to bring up the SPY because when I ended the program, not when I ended the program on Friday, when I did the update on Friday, I talked about this large ABC structure down in the spy so let's take a look at this because this is you, you want to really understand this because i suspect what's going to happen is that we're going to get a nice bounce going and that bounce going can get us all the way back up to the last bounce which is 431 and so let me just show you how this abc is set up so you can basically keep this you got the you got the high Okay, when we're taking a look at this, let's see how this ends up. So, I'm not taking it from the top, because what ended up happening is the top of the SPY is 479. We came down and we went sideways. So, I'm taking it from the uh, March 31st high, which is 462.07. That's your A point. Your B point was the low that was generated out here in June. That number is the... Uh, 362.17. So we have a 99.90 A to B. The C point is the counter trend bounce. The C point is the 431.73. I can't stand this one. This does this to me. Sorry, one second. I, gotta, I could write these down. I'm doing 462.07 minus. Oh, I think I, you know what, I just got it. I just, uh, 370, no, three. 462.07, right? 462.07. That's, and then we got the 362.17. Or this is taking me so long, folks, okay? Four thirty one seventy. There it is, three thirty one. So three thirty one is the A to B equals the C to D. And you can see, let me put this up so you can see how this 331.80, this 3, 331.80. So you can see in the month of May, I mean, month of June, we did 1.9 billion shares. We broke that with 2 billion. That's an ABC down. You have a price projection of 331. Now, what I suspect, this is what's so cool to look at, right? I suspect what we can do is that if this consolidates a bit, you can actually get right back up to, to that number, the, the, the C point. So we'll see how it shakes out. But you got to remember that the reason that I think that's so crucial is that see the highs of the, of the low where I think this is going is 313. 
So that, to me, looks like the largest setup. And what's going to be cool, so what happens on that also, folks, is this, is that let's say, you know, you're playing the counter trend bounce. The baby gets up there. It starts losing altitude. It starts losing volume, okay? The bottom line, if we get down to that lower price point, there's no one that's going to want to be buying. And that's where you really get solid bottoms. That's how this comes into play. That, that's the reality. It's like that's how most of these big bottoms come in. Let's go take a look at the FXE. This is a currency, I believe. Yeah, so uh, this is exchange traded fund. The fund is designed to track the price of the euro. Uh, the fund is the largest suite of currency ETFs. Okay, so... Let me just, so this is tracking the euro. Let me see what this looks like. Okay, so we're coming off the bottom. Yeah, I think this is a nice trade, you know. Um, this is, you know, I, I mean, if you're, if you're in the camp, now, which is really cool. You see, see that high volume high? Uh, last swing point of 92.29? Well, that's another hint that, guess what, that the uh, dollar can start going down. And if you, if you think that the euro is going to go up versus the dollar, this is the thing to do. And if we go over to the euro and we actually look at the euro, um, the bottom line is that it does look that, you know, it, we might have come off this bottom. We'll see. The, the euro would have to actually get back inside 99.988. But guess what? That could do that very easy. And um, my son, Tommy, just gave us an update inside the den. Uh, our man, Teddy Kegstaff, he's going to be doing... A webinar for us, but it's snowing in Chicago. Not but it's snowing in Chicago. Okay, I think it's October seventeenth. Yeah, it's supposed to have leaves, not snow. It's eighty-three degrees here today, folks. But the humidity is a little bit too much. But that's going to be gone a few more days. No, a few more weeks, really. We get a few more uh, days. I was surprised that the dew point was that high today, though. St Excuse me, folks. Stay right there. We're coming right back. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 590. NASDAQ up 356. S&P's up 95. Come right back. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Let's go take a look at those small caps, the IWM, and see where we're going here. So, the Russell, let's take a look here. Okay, so, just like the market, had a big sign of strength. Let me pull this back a little bit further first. I want to see what this correlation is to this. Oh, look at that. I almost made it. Interesting. So the highs, the high of the low is 154. Made it to 162. And 169 is the month before that. Okay. So, you know, the small caps, first off, almost, almost get down to where I think the S&P is going. Okay. But now let's get a closer look. On the daily, so on the on the daily, you had the sign of strength. We're gonna close above it. One one seventy two twenty, or oh, some one seventy two four oh four. You know, I think this can get a bounce. I mean, that, that's how this is shaking out, too. Yeah, I think it will. I mean, I think the whole market's gonna get a bounce because I think the dollar is gonna basically pull back and. You know, when we just did that uh, FXE for um, one of the Tigers, uh, I believe another Tiger told us we could do DDN. Is that, no, what is that? UDN, UDN. So this is, this is the bearish fund, okay. The fund tracks the shot USD currency portfolio which is composed of a shot U.S. dollar futures contract that trade on the ICE futures. It replicates the performance of being shot the U.S. dollar against the backs of six mega. Okay, so this is the same thing. Okay, this is pretty cool. So let's see. Same type of setup. Now let's see, that's 141 FXE. So the spread is two cents there, and the... What I'm trying to figure out now, folks, is that when you trade some of these, you want to take a look at the spread in between the bid and the offer. Well, there's only a penny. So either one of them is fine. The one's a penny wide and the other one's two pennies wide. So, you know, bottom line, I think that could be decent, man. You know, it could be de definitely decent. So this is the cool thing. So picture, you know, when, you know, you, you, you read about John Henry you know, he bought the Red Sox. Now he's got the soccer teams and all this. All these future traders, folks, that, you know, do very well. If they get, they're, they're trend followers. That's the bottom line. Now, they can do bad being a trend follower, too, if you're in a choppy market, which I've seen him also do bad. Okay? But the bottom line is that what happens in currencies is that they trend for a long period of time. So that's something that you could go in. If it works, great. If it doesn't work, you win again. You can go in again and just keep it really tight because when they go, they really go. I mean, because look at it. I mean, when you take a look, I'll pull up the dollar again for a second. This run on the dollar. Now, let's see. I'll just pull up. Let's pull up three years. Look at this. Yeah. So the run on the dollar was nonstop since May of 2021. Yeah. 
So we're talking about, uh, yeah, almost 16 months. We can see this. I mean, look at that run, man. That's pretty amazing, actually. May of 2021. Let me see something. I want to see this. I want to put this. May of 2021. Let's see. I want a, a GC1. One second. May of 2021. May 2021. Okay, so put this up. What I'm doing, I want to see just how bad gold went down. Look at that. So, okay, so gold went down approximately 25%. Yeah, I mean, because if I bring this over here, it's 2,063. Let's call it 25%. Let's, it's, that's more, but that's all right. Now, DXY, let me look at this. Because this is, well, you'll see where I'm going with this in one second. Let me just put this back. We said 25%, right? And then the dollar here, 90 to 112.22. Uh, this is the same thing. Look at that correlation. It's direct. Yeah, it's, it's direct, man. The bottom line is direct. Each one of them is about 23%, 22%. So that goes up 22%. Gold goes down 22%. So the bottom line, that, that, that's about as clear as you can get, man. <laughs> you need a lower dollar uh, for, for higher gold. That, that's, 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 the really, that's the real bottom line. Um, you know. Now, inside of the gold market, you know, in, in the gold report today, I was, kind of, I was showing that the the four biggest gold equities, you know, bottom line, can't get off the low. Here's Newmont. Newmont's still in trouble, just trading 41. That's the lot. Newmont's the largest weighting in almost all of these equities. I'm, I'm going to check that because it's gone down so far at the end. But here, let me show you. And then you got Barrick, okay? Barrick Gold right now. That's trading at uh, 1461. That's still at lows. Royal Gold, which, you know, this is, used to be one of the biggest, strongest stock there are. You know, it's up two bucks today. That's still at lows. And then Franco Nevada. The, these, these four stocks here, inside the XAU and the HUI, you know, and, you know constitute, bottom line, you know, over 30% in the market. And for some reason, these big dogs, man, can't move. You know, if we look at the if we look at the holdings here, Newmont is thirteen percent, Barrick is ten, Franco Nevada is nine, and Eco Eagles next, but yeah, Royal Gold's down there at three. Three three point four. So you got thirteen, fourteen, twenty-three, twenty twenty six and a half percent, man. And you know and they are the thing that's crazy about it, not crazy, but it, that you know that the, the sector just can't get going is that those larger equities, you know, you've heard me say it many times, the, the streamers, the streamers, nom the streamers would be Royal and Franco Nevada. The streamers are the ones that normally can give you a, a good f clue that the gold market is either going to go up and or go down. That's what it really comes down to, you know? So. Uh, let's go take a look at one of the coffee funds from our man, Frank from Gloucester. Okay, so we got J.O. This is the IPATH uh, Bloomberg uh, Exchange Traded Fund. Uh, and let me go look at this. Okay, see. What I'm going to do first is I want to bring up coffee in the futures market because that's what we're trading off of. So where are you? Look at this coffee. Okay, so coffee right now. It's trading 195. Well, I see what he's looking at. Okay, so. Why is it this? One second, sorry. Okay, so this is coming down. They're coming down to a swing, 192. Yeah, stay right there, folks. Come right back.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 607, Nasdaq's up 366, S&P's up 97. On the coffee um, one, I don't. there's just not enough information in that future market. And the I, I get with the J.O., you know, that it can bounce pretty quick, but it's all about futures. There's only 7,000 shares traded. So, um, you know, if it trades, what happens when coffee trades, evidently it trades even in the future market, not a lot. And so that's why I see all these gaps, you know, so. Uh, Market-wise out here, the bottom line, I suspect we're gonna get uh, higher prices coming at us. You know, bottom line, um, you know, you, 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 Thursday went higher, Friday pulled back, scared everyone, get them out of the market again, bottom line. You, you made that up today. What you're gonna have, you're gonna be clo you have a close that's over, uh, Thursday's high. Thursday's high inside the spy is 367.51. Um, well, it's going to be close. Actually, the spy is not going to be. It's, it's going to be 366.94. My take, we're still going higher. You're going to get some follow through here. Uh, NFLX. I just want to see if they're coming out. They're coming out tomorrow with the numbers. Yeah, tomorrow. That after close tomorrow. Netflix after close. So we're right in earnings season now, folks. So the bottom line, we're going to find out and how the market's gonna react to some of these numbers coming out. If we take a look at the Qs, uh, the Qs, the high on Thursday was that uh, 270.17, your 269.32. Uh, I expect you're gonna get into higher prices. So this is the intriguing thing also, you gotta remember this, that because we're in inflation, even when these companies are making less money, 
the number, the number that we're going to be trading could very well be higher because all the numbers are going to be higher, folks. You know, the bottom line is that when you jump from here up to there, even when you pull back, what happens? You're still at a higher number. You know, that's, that's what inflation does. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks.